The government of Canada is soliciting bids for the next pandemic vaccine, citing a need for readiness and supply as recommendations for influenza vaccine coverage and avian flu messaging ramp up. Filed under Drugs and Pharmaceutical Products, the Public Health Agency of Canada is seeking input for Canada's Pandemic Influenza Vaccine, or PIV, readiness and supply strategy. The description reads, to inform the development of the next phase of pandemic readiness requirements, Canada is seeking input from suppliers who may have an interest in bidding on potential future pandemic influenza vaccine, PIV, readiness and supply contracts to address Canada's short-term and or long-term PIV readiness and supply needs. This comes as the Government of Canada, namely Health Canada, begins to ramp up seasonal flu messaging, recommending either a quadrivalent, which is a four-in-one, or a trivalent, a three-in-one vaccine for those aged six months and up, calling them clinically safe and effective. As the government also ramps up pandemic potential around outbreaks of highly pathogenic avian influenza, they say that seasonal influenza vaccines do not provide robust protection against infection with influenza A, that's the H5N1 viruses, but promote them anyway, citing the non-evidence-based stance that they may reduce the risk of seasonal human and influenza A, H5N1, virus co-infection and possible viral reassortment leading to a human transmissionable virus with pandemic potential. Funny enough, the National Authority on Vaccine Recommendations called NACI, the National Advisory Committee on Immunization, says in their full statement recommending influenza vaccines that there are currently no data on the effects of long-term or repeated administration of age that's a juvenated influenza vaccines in children. That sentence is specifically about the Fluad Pediatric IIV3 age, which means again, adjuvated trivalent inactivated influenza vaccine, but no long-term safety data or studies looking into the repeated administration of the current childhood vaccine schedule exist. Under the inactivated quadrivalent vaccine called IIVSD section, it reads, one study addressed the efficacy of the IIVSD VDSD in children three to eight years of age, and it was estimated to be 59% in comparison to children who received the hepatitis A vaccine. So not a true placebo, but standard vaccine safety testing where they test a new vaccine against an existing vaccine and try to extrapolate population level safety and efficacy for a product that is 59% likely to change the results of a blood test and may may lead to a protective immune response, leaving recipients still gambling with natural infection potential and the inherent risks possible from both natural infection and vaccination. This comes as news that the World Health Organization has launched a new initiative to advance mRNA vaccine development against human avian influenza H5N1 to, quote, accelerate the development and accessibility of human avian influenza messenger RNA vaccine candidates for manufacturers in low and middle income countries. This is through the Medicines Patent Pool, MPP, mRNA Technology Transfer Program, which was implemented in July 2021. It said that this is a vital part of WHO and MPP's efforts to improve the availability, access, and use of mRNA vaccines for better vaccine equity globally. Here in Canada, the CBC state broadcaster has already noted that bird flu candidates exist, such as the GlaxoSmithKline facility in Quebec, which produces seasonal flu shots each year, and one of its subsidiaries also developed one of the country's two authorized H5N1 shots that are approved for use in children six months of age and older. We can also look toward the brand new Moderna Modified RNA or mRNA manufacturing facility in Ontario which the feds handed $200 million of taxpayers' funds to build. This was expanded in 2022 as a long-term agreement with Moderna for the domestic production of messenger or modified RNA vaccines in Canada in agreement with the government of Canada. Another Moderna manufacturing facility in Quebec was made possible in part by funding from the government of Quebec. The American pharmaceutical giant that has never brought a vaccine to market before their spike vax mRNA COVID-19 shots in 2020 will receive $176 million in federal funds from the United States government to develop a mRNA-based pandemic influenza vaccine against bird flu. For Rebel News, I'm Tamara Ugolini.
If you agree that novel mRNA vaccines should not be rushed to market under the guise of an emergency or a pandemic response, then please head over to our special website at nomoreshots.ca. There you can find all of the recent reports and evidence-based science around the rollout of these injections. And you can also sign our petition calling on Federal Minister of Health Mark Holland to revoke market authorization for these injections. And of course, you can always support our work there in order to facilitate this kind of journalism and keep it afloat. All of that at nomoreshots.ca.